Well, folks, welcome back to another episode of Living Texas Hidden Spring Farm. Today, we're going to try to get caught up. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so far behind on chores. I'm about a month and a half behind on fence line, and I'm several, well, I shouldn't say several, at least two, two and a half months behind on this chicken coop. Getting it opened up and getting it ready for the summer. We close it up in the winter to keep the wind off the chickens, as you can see. Down here on the bottom, this goes all the way around three sides, and this is the front right here. We did a video about closing it up for the winter, if you guys want to go check that out on the channel. However, it's getting hot in Texas. It's the middle of May. Temperatures this coming week supposed to be up to the mid-90s, so we got to allow these chickens to have some air and some circulation with the wind uh, to keep them cool. We don't have any problems. Last night, we had uh, did our chicken count. When we close the coop up and we're missing one of our favorite chickens or i should say my wife's favorite chicken and uh have no clue what happened to it so either it got hit by a hawk or it stayed out in the woods too long got too dark for it to come in but our chickens have a uh, roam around here we got 45 acres and they can roam the whole thing if they want to they usually stay then a few hundred feet or more of the chicken coop the main job we got them is for this cow manure keep the flies down so that's the main job we've got them for however they do get out in the pasture move around a lot every once in a while we'll lose one i'm going to try to get this knocked out in a short period of time i appreciate it. you guys come on and join me let's have some fun live in texas hidden spring farm now before we get started on taking this stuff down just give you a little walk around we get a lot of wind up here, so we put this uh, chain on here to keep the door open during the day so they can have some place to get in case there's a predator or they just want to go in and lay eggs. We got this uh, whole front. This thing was built out of a dog kennel. And I closed it up. You can see we got to do some maintenance in here. We got the laying boxes over here. We can see one hen, she's brooding. We got to move her every evening, about ready to dip her in some cold water. But this is the chicken coop. This is the water system we have for it. I got to get it filled today. And it was made, uh, I built it uh, last year, about springtime or so. And it uh, matches the color of our home. So let's get busy taking this landscape fabric off and get these chickens some more air. We try to keep these uh, landscape fabric on here with some zip ties and it usually works from season to season. We did, uh, we did something similar on our other place that we had before we moved out here. Well, we got the door off. The part that's on the door, I'm going to go ahead and cut all these other ones and see if we can't get some of it pulled down. Well, the roof and nails aren't coming out, so we're just going to pop it off the tabs. So now you guys can see how open it is on the front when we have the landscape fabric off. And then soon we'll have it off the bottom going around and there'll be proper airflow through.
Say we had a few field mice in there. So this will show you what it looks like on the inside. We have got some cleaning to do today. All right, folks. Well, we got it pretty much cleaned out. And before you say anything, that stuff that's along the edge, that's how deep we had poured the shavings for the winter. But we usually only put them up to the bottom of that 4x4 four four there. However, this winter, we knew it was going to be a lot of cold, cold weather. So we are doing everything we could to insulate here including putting the uh, landscape fabric up. Anyway, that stuff is caught between the hardware cloth on the outside of the chain link and the chain link. So it'll break down over time, so I'm not too much worried about that. Now, we got to put that in here. Get this broken down, spread out. So we got the hose hooked up and we are filling the barrel for the chickens drinking water that goes right down gravity fed into their their bowl. Should go pretty quick. So if you're wondering where the chicken droppings and the uh, shavings went, here they are right here. Put them on top of the hay and the manure that we cleaned out of the stalls. We still got a little bit of cleaning to do over there. And that is uh, this year's pile so far. This is last year's pile. And if you watched our uh, raised bed planters, this is what we put right before we put the mulch on top. This stuff is rich, it's beautiful. Well, there you have it, folks. We did one of our chores, many chores around the farm today and brought you guys along with us cleaning out this messy chicken coop. We got a lot of great videos coming up in the future, including fence line, making additions to our 2023 Coyote RX 7320. Really looking forward to that. 
getting that thing going along with that grapple that we purchased for it. We appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and you hit that like button. Now listen, we're going to put some links to other videos on the screen. We appreciate it if you watch them and tell your friends. You guys have a blessed day.